What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Crypto here. And it's a while since we've talked about Terra Luna Classic. So I want to give you a bit of an update as to where Terra Luna Classic is. Where do I think it's going to go over the course of the next couple of months? And equally, what's going on behind the scenes? So all of that in this video, you know what to do. Smash the subscribe button. And if you are still holding your Luna Classic, let me see you drop a comment down below and leave a like on this video. And with that being said, let's quickly just get a context view of where the cryptocurrency market is right now. 1.08 trillion about half a percent down, 28,300 on BTC. Terra Luna Classic trading currently around that 556 five, range, and we'll come back and take a look at the price in just a minute. But here is probably the best sentiment I could give you right now in terms of what's going on with Terra Luna Classic, which is there are no proposals. There's nothing really coming through. Everything feels like it's sort of dried up and everyone is kind of just a bit fed up with kind of everything that's going on with it. I think that's the fair point to say. We had a couple in terms of deposits, so a couple of these may come to fruition. A lot of them are obviously scams. Any of these airdrop ones are scammed. But equally, we've got a couple of other opportunities that are sort of coming down the line, not of which have gone into voting just yet. The most recent one we got past was the blacklisting of this wallet. Now, I was pretty... Um, vocal around. I didn't think this was the right thing. It removes decentralization. Nothing's really happened on the back of it equally since that has been done. But what do we have to kind of hold on to, or I guess what's going on right now in the system? Well, here is the kind of Terra Classic governance over on Commonwealth. These are where people are throwing ideas around. You can still, it's still reasonably active with people still trying to work out the best way, whether that be compensation structure on Luna Classic blockchain, tiered reward mechanisms, or a new website. Not that I think that would really help, but there is still some people building on here. There's still some people that are supporting this chain, and rightly so. You know, they've still got a lot of opportunity. We're still in the bits of a very challenging market right now. But what I would say is we have removed all this additional cost that's sitting with it. And our big thing right now is how do we bring utility, i.e. decentralized applications, people to build on it, just to do something on the chain versus people just holding we know that our trading volume around terra luna classic especially if we look here at the kind of bottom end it is being significantly down over the last few months really you can see here terra luna classic sitting at the 90th ranked cryptocurrency under nine million dollars worth of trading volume which is definitely not going to be great whether that's for the binance burns albeit we shouldn't be relying on that but these you know remember this was our like two billion dollars of the volume back in the day but there is, I guess, some slight silver lining when it comes to it. We obviously continue with the burns. 21.8 million were burnt yesterday. But here's the good news. We got the refunds from that L1 task force team. They deposited money back into the community pool, giving us some more funds. Now, there could be a number of reasons why they've done that. Ultimately, they didn't quite get done what they expected. You can see here, it says remaining funds from Q3 have been returned to the community pool. And the L1 Classic task force team will now enter maintenance mode for Q4, which will run 17th of October, right up until the 17th of January and they'll resolve the Astroport situation, resolve chain issues and support the PRs for government approved L1 logic. Now there is a roadmap being worked out in which validators have to support so there could be some silver linings going into the new year when it comes to Terra Luna Classic. I think right now however it isn't a great picture. You can see here the price once again took a big dip under this support line and is now trading at the 556 with some real lack of sentiment and a lot of people that send me messages, a lot of people in my community have sold and moved on are taking their money and gone and put it in somewhere else the reality here is that there is probably more upside potential with some other projects but that that is dead is never quite truly dead and i think this is probably where people get there is still a ton of people that truly believe there could still be hope with terra luna classic however i've said this on a number of videos as well as my live streams it is an incredibly difficult hold. Right now, it is very quiet on the Terra Luna Classic ecosystem, whether that be from people building, whether that be from people in the community, whether that be people putting videos out on YouTube. It's all just a bit quiet. And the reality here is, what is there to celebrate or what is there to tell the world about Terra Luna Classic in the context of other chains out there? And we're even seeing newer chains come out with far more utility, with much more excitement, and ultimately people are going there. I can name just a few up on this channel, even some that we are really early on that we'll start to release to you guys as and when we're more comfortable to do that. But you definitely want to subscribe because we got Casper, you know, months before everyone else started talking about it, as well as other fantastic projects. But Luna Classic, look, I still hold mine, whether that's a sensible thing or not. 
a lot of people would definitely have a Marmite opinion on it. I'm interested to know what you guys do. Is there something that we are missing? Is there something that can come back? Does a bull market fix Terra Luna Classic? Well, I think we need more applications being built. We need a strong community to stay strong. And I think the risk you have right now is because we are such at a low price, any significant move to the upside would instantly see selling. You can see it quite clearly on the chart. You know, whenever we get a decent move on the chart, we then see the big dump on the back of it. You saw the move up here. We saw the dump. We saw a continuing move and then the dump once again. So unfortunately, that's what happens when you have a project that is such a low price for such a long time. People are looking for anything to either get a reasonable amount back or their initial investment. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Is it worth covering Lunar Classic? You know what to do. Smash the like button. That tells me you guys want to keep up to date with everything going on. But it is very quiet over there. We don't really have a lot of teams building on it. The L1 teams are going into maintenance mode. Time will tell. Could this be finally the last few months of Terra Luna Classic, or is there more to come? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. As ever, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel to keep up to date with everything cryptocurrency, you know what to do. Smash the like button as well, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.